of dozens of other kids. The images of underage children that sexual predators go online for. Take Sweetie, a 10-year-old Filipino girl. In the 10 weeks that she was online, 20,000 men contacted her, coaxing her to perform sex acts in front of a webcam. Except that Sweetie isn't who she seems. What they don't know, I'm not real. I'm a computer model made piece by piece to track down these men who do this. On public chat rooms, adult webcam sites, social networking sites, other sites, predators from wealthy countries are paying to watch and direct children from least developed countries to perform live sex shows via webcam. Pedophiles, of course, have a dark secret, and Sweetie has secrets of her own. He claims to have tracked down a thousand pedophiles in 65 countries, and the former head of the UK's Child Exploitation Prevention Unit, Jim Gamble, says it's a clear message to online abusers. People in the UK today, predators who've been on sites engaging young people who they think are sitting in a vulnerable location many thousands of miles away, are actually going to be sitting in trepidation tonight, worrying about the knock on the door in the morning. That's going to give them pause for thought before they go back online and engage those children again. So it's one of the most active and high profile deterrents that I've seen in a long time. The Child Exploitation and Online Protection Centre here in the UK is aware of the problem of web streaming child sex abuse. And earlier this year, a man from Kettering, Timothy Ford, was convicted of paying a Filipino family for online sex shows involving their young sons, one of whom was just six years old.